Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo. This should be episode 6. And last time we managed to build a few things. We've, we've, we've managed to cure our velociraptors. They had some sort of disease. That, so we spent a lot of time curing them. We have made some black leopards. We've made some, where are they, gorillas? Mountain gorillas to be exact. And we've made some ringtail lemurs. Look at them. Look at the cute little lemurs. Let's look around. Hello you there. Oh, you got into sleepy. Let's clean. Clean you, clean you, clean you. There we go. So, I just heard a message pop up that guest needs more bathrooms still. Like, we've already added that bathroom here. Should No, there's no bathroom here. That may be a problem. There should be a bathroom here somewhere. So, let's just quickly go into... Uh, should we just add the bathroom back here? Yeah, let's just add it back there. And oh, there we go, another bathroom. You can't reach the food dish, I'm sure you can. Silly, silly dinosaur. So, let's see, what do we have? We we do have, let's look at the map. Now you see, we've, we've used quite a lot of space already. So, I think, even though there's much more to go on the, on the rainforest area, I don't think we should add that many more animals. Let's see if there's anything really important that we should add to the rain tropical rainforest area if the if it's fine to keep up for now. We've got these guys. We've got we might need chimpanzees. We've got the dodos, we've got mountain gorillas, we've got ringtail lemurs and we've got black leopards and we've got the T Rex. I think that's fine for now and we should move on to, to some other area. Maybe around here because if you see you look at the map there's a big area here we can Make some sort of biome area here. I'm not quite sure what we'll do yet. The savanna still needs more, actually. The savanna needs this part. This needs to be savanna. Yeah, so. We have this area, though. This can be something. So, let's see. What kind of areas are there that we can do? Maybe that maybe not have to anywhere else. We can't have a tundra right next to a rainforest. That doesn't work. So, let's see. We could have some forest. Utheraptor, grey wolves. Carnotosaurus, Wolverines, Stegosaurus. I am a Stegosaurus. Coastal? No. We don't want water things here. Desert, we already have desert. Grassland. Dwarf elephants. I mean, nah, there's no need to have any of these animals really. Let's see. Paljake, it's water as well. Reef will be water as well. Savannah, we've got scrub. We could make kangaroos. And. Hmm. Let's see. Critically endangered. How about wetlands? We need some wetland, wetland stuff. Wetlands would be nice. Having some crocodiles and flamingos. I think this is a nice place for flamingos. And something called that. Florida panther. Nile monitor. Nile crocodile. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll. This is something we can do. We'll make wetlands. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna select wetlands here. Where are you there? And color this area in wetlands color so that we know this is for wetlands only. And probably the other, probably this side as well here. Depending on how much space we'll need for that. So wetlands will be here. So if you look at the map, this will be wetlands. That's great. I missed up some spots here. So then we'll have this being savanna, all of this. Let's make this a bit bigger. This is savanna. I don't know for how far. Let's see. Maybe just till here. That's enough. Just give me a second. There we go. Um so yeah, let's 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 look into the wetlands. What sort of animals do we want first? We want flamingos around here, and they're pretty tiny, and that's great. So, what kind of wetlands, trees is, are there? Kind of so, <laughs> nothing will cover up these massive trees, but something that will create some sort of little wall. These ones, I guess, are the best. Nope. You disappear. Just make a nice, smooth wall here. Let's look. That's obviously uh, not very well. So, um, that might be a little problem. Let's just put this around the back here as well. 
there we go and then add some another row of different kind of trees in front of here like that maybe yeah I guess I guess that will do there's not much we can do here do you? you'll always be able to look through them let's put some shrubbery down that's all we can do here there we go now we'll have some some little flamingo enclosure here. We'll actually have a little pathway. What kind of pathway should we have here? Wetlands is kind of yeah muddy. It kind of it's obviously it's not a muddy pathway, but it could look muddy. And then this can be the flamingo enclosure in between because flamingos don't need that much space and they can have a little post and rope fence apparently, but we won't do that. Um, should we just have the wetlands rail fence or yeah I think we'll just have this like that no you meant to go around the corner you go away you go around here and like that now let's get rid of this one here because that's kinda annoying so flamingos do they need a home no they don't need a home that's perfect they need, they need water. You, whenever you see flamingos in a zoo, you can see they have water. So let's make the brush size much smaller. Oh, it doesn't go that much smaller. So we'll have some water here, some water here, some water here. Because it's the wetlands and wetlands, we know. Wait, 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 no. We want wetlands here. Yeah, I thought that was selected. Come on. Where are you? Wetlands. There we are. That's better. There we go. There we go. That that should be fine. That should be fine. They I think they'll 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 be fine with just flat. So let's see. Put give them some food troughs here and here. Some water troughs here, here, here. They should be fine. Do they need a toy? There's a ball. Have one tree and lots of shrubbery. Wow, that's a big splash. I have flowers somewhere here. And yeah, there we go. That should be fine. That looks nice. And that's it. That that's what we need. Mm, let's put a little rock here. There we go. Why not? So let's just do only female flamingos again because there we go. Oh no, that's definitely not enough space. Space is critical. You go away. You go away as well. Is that fine now? Are you still critical on space, really? I thought that would be. Maybe this is the water. Let's just do something here and see if that works. Is that better? No. No. Not good enough. Da 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 da. Anything in here? No. Aw, oh, damn, we need to make this bigger. So, let's just add some more fence. Oh, no, wait, now they're happy. No, the space is still critical. City flamingos, is, that, is this going to be enough? Please tell me this is going to be enough. So, let's just get rid of that. Get rid of this fence here. Oh, shit, no, 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 no. You close off. Whew. Okay, I want wetlands. Some wetlands water. Some more. There we go. Is your space fine now? Yeah, you're fine now. Thank fuck, you're happy now. Okay. Uh, the okay, You go. No, you, you work. No, no. You work here. There we go. So we want a little pathway around here. There we go. We wanted this to fix this pathway here because that's silly, it's broken. Okay, we need this pathway here being for zookeepers. So what other kind of animals should we have? Hippos would be nice. Yeah, let's make some hippos. Hippopotamus. 
Hippopotamus. Yay, they can use these fences as well. That's great. Well, they have partly, partially dinosaur fence, but whatever. Um, like that. Then we'll have another enclosure for something else. Like, like this. Then we're gonna have. Sorry. Gonna have this here. We're gonna have one entrance here, one entrance here. Okay, we're gonna have the hippo hope. Hippo can be lonely. Okay, what do you need? You need a little hat. What the hell is that zookeeper doing? Fucking retarded. Hippos need water. We know that. Because they swim in water. Maybe they need some deep water as well. Because they need to be able to properly swim, you know. That's not enough deep water. There we go, that should be fine. Scratch pose, because apparently hippos like scratching themselves. There we go. You get some food there. Get some water there. Tree back here. Look, you stupid zookeeper. Just get out the hippo cage. Keeper Nash, you're the most retarded zookeeper I've ever seen. You're always causing trouble. You're always the one that's complaining about not being able to reach any poo. You're just always in the way. I should technically fire you and just not bother with you anymore. But I guess I'll I'll try I'll try to keep you in because you've been here for quite a while. I can't get over firing you, so we'll just have to stay. But stop messing up like a stupid moron. Space is critical. Hippo, you don't need that much space. You're a fat hippo. Actually, yeah, it's a fat hippo. We need something small in an enclosure here then. Like that. There we go. The hippo can have more space. Yay, now you're happy. Finally, Jesus Christ, you go here, and you go here, and here, and here, and here. There's that enough space for you, Mr. I need more space, hippo. <laughs> yeah, is that fine for you? Yeah, you're lonely, are you? Uh, whatever. Okay. See, when, when you have, like, animals in a zoo, normally they, they are usually quite lonely and stuff. And so, you're really hungry, then go eat. Oh, they had a baby. Oh, they had a baby. If you're hungry, just go eat. Can't reach the bird poo. <laughs> Stupid. By the way, did that... Oh, look at the T-Rex baby. Look at him. Ah, so cute. Oh, do, 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 do. I need to photo you. Photo. Hey. Oh, wait. Where are you going? Hey, you. No, I want to do this. Where are you? Oh, look at you. Oh, so cute. Rawr. Rawr. Out of film. Oh, no. My camera's out of film, apparently. It's a bit odd. Okay, let's see over here. Is there anything we can fit in here, or should I make it a bit bigger? How big are you? Oh my god, you're massive. Beavers! You don't need a lot of space, do you? How about this? Or this? Nope. Hmm. Let's just, let's just get rid of this fence here. Let's, let's just, just see what else can use the wetland fences because we want to use them mainly. This is going to be one big enclosure. I, I decided I decided on that. One massive, massive enclosure. Now, which is the most important thing we should put in here? We could put an African buffalo. We've got hippos. The propobamon. This massive thing. This thing, Stegosaurus, no, Kentrosaurus, sorry, Nile Monitor, 
I think we should have another crocodile. Wow, wow, it's big. Jesus Christ, it's massive. Holy poo. Let's give you some water, Mr. Nile Crocodile. Yeah, I like that. That's a lot of water. But then again, this is the wetlands, so water is what what is predominantly there. We can have a little killy thingy. Um, <coughs> sorry, I had a cough there. A present for you for why, what reason whatsoever. Okay, I have a log in the water. There we go. Are you happy? Good. You're happy. Mr. Nile Crocodile. Oh, by the way, if any of you want to give any of these animals names, just, just put it in the comment and I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I can I name all these animals after any of your likings. So there's a little wetland area here, and we've got some more wetland space here. So people can walk around here and look at that. Let's see. Pass. Oh, look at the crocodile in there. Oh, he's happy. There's a hippo there. Rawr! Yes, cool. Hey, you. You look like Gassy Mexican. Are you related to Gassy Mexican? Are you Gassy Mexican? No? Okay. Hmm, interesting. Let's see. What else is there to do? So, apparently, Dionysus needs more space. Well, where's your baby? Where is your baby? Actually, no. Let's, let's just release you into the wild. There we go. Now there should be only one Dionysus in here. Uh, two. Yeah. Either the dad and the baby, or the mom and the baby, whichever. I just did something to him. I just gave him some sort of syringe. Maybe we can do that to the... Baby T-Rex too? No. Oh, he's so cute, the baby T-Rex. Let's see. Ah, Why can you... No fucking hell, all the poo. Ah, this zoo is just Keeper Nash. What have you been doing? You go in here and manage this flick him in the enclosure. I don't know how it's so hard. Well, now place one extra zookeeper in each of the enclosures. Maybe that will relieve some of the problems. We should just keep the gates out since the zookeepers live in the enclosures. Ooh, first anniversary award. Woohoo! Our zoo has been going for one year, which is amazing. We've got a one year long old zoo, which is just awesome. So you in there, 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 and you in there. There we go. Okay, let's see. Can't reach the bird poop. Anything other than stupid things. <sighs> okay, you silly elephants, you now don't have... Ooh, four-star zoo! I just realized we have a four-star zoo. Look at that. I wonder if people still need toilets or, or if they're fine now. Okay, what we're going to do here, this pathway will start connecting up. Back to here, like that. There we go. Have this as well, why not? Have some more toilets. One here, one here. There we go. Let's see, what kind of other savanna animals do we need? Because savanna does have a lot of animals. We need rhinos. We don't have rhinos, do we? No, we don't have rhinos. We need rhinos. Black rhino. You're not black! You're lying to me. Oh, and we need African wild dogs, definitely. Ostriches, maybe. Giraffes, definitely. What's the difference between this giraffe and this giraffe? I don't know. Different color. These ones are more expensive. Not that we care about money, but yeah, they're more expensive. Um, so, yeah, let's let's go for the rhino first. So let's see, what does the rhino want? What kind of fence can we use for you? I guess we'll just use the ones we already have been using for the back. And then for the front, we'll use this one. Okay, that sounds good. 
So I'll just keep this going along here. This is gonna be a big enclosure. Big long one. So I can actually run. Should I be doing that? Uh, should I do that? I don't know. Let's see, what other kind of cool things can we do for... I mean, we could do one, like, a little safari park. I mean, it would be a very little one, but we could do that. So if we have a Jeep vehicle station, like... Like here. And then we have it crossing over here as well, maybe. So we can just have a little safari park. Yeah, I think that should be good. Actually, we'll have it starting here. It'll cross the road. Like that. Go like this. Like that. Like this. Let's see how that works for now. So, we're gonna have this fence. Wait, that's a different fence. Oh no! We want this fence up here. Silly me. This fence across here, so the car can actually go through. And across here. And across here. And then this one across the back. Like this. Now we can either put things together or we can wall them off in between as well. So. I don't know, we can make a wall between here. But maybe. Yeah, let's just put a wall between here. This can be the rhino enclosure. Mr. Rhino. And, well, both Mrs. Rhino actually. You can, you're gonna need your, your hut, you're gonna sleeping place, which can be here. You can have your little tree thing here, your little tree here, and your big tree here. No, no big tree. Have this tree here. Then you can have your, your bananas, because everybody knows rhinos want bananas, and your hay, and your, your water, and some more water. There we go. You can have your little... You don't really want to attack dinosaurs. You can have a scratch post as well, right there, so people can see them. And then, obviously, you know, need some savanna grass. Maybe some rocks. Let's have a little rock here. Maybe like that. Now the only problem is if the <laughs> the rhinos walk on the thing there, that will mean that um, the car will stop, and there'll be a traffic jam if there's multiple cars and stuff like that. That should be fine. Now this one we can have. Wait, actually, so rhinos are, don't really eat other animals. So what we can do is we can. Yes, I've got a better idea. So firstly, we're gonna allow Savannah allow this, this, and this. Make it bigger and do some randomized tree stuff because that always works better. Like that. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Mountain Gorilla 1 just gave birth. Oh no. Why would you give birth, you stupid poodle? Okay. Look, look, rhinos, rhinos, and I don't know if you're gonna like this or not, but we're gonna move you. The bananas disappeared even though they're still in there. You can move you here. 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 And move you here. Then we can add some more non we can add some some giraffes. We can we can add these giraffes here. So Rhinos and giraffes can live together, yeah, I think that's a good idea. So two giraffes. They need they need bigger houses because they're giraffes. Holy moly. Okay, they can go into there, yeah, that's fine. Do you also eat your, uh bananas? Yeah, you also eat bananas. Look, they eat the same food, they live in the same place. It's all great. It's all fine. It's all awesome and hooray. Both like tar pits. Scratching post needs to go over here as well for the rhinos. There. Are you fine now? Oh, yes. I think. Oh, no, they need some. I think I need to give them a little water pool. Little water pool, silly game. Little, like, hair. 
he's in water now. Like that. There we go. And then over here in this uh, cutoff part, we can have the wild dogs. Because wild dogs are evil. Or lions. We need lions. We need a male lion just because. I mean, the. Yeah, him and his. his bitches. His. <laughs> they don't live in here. <laughs> they live in a rock. Obviously. Actually, what's this? They live on a rock. They want meat because they're lions. The Lion King. Okay, do they want this stuff, whatever that is? Are you fine now? Do you want do you want a scratching post? Yeah. Do you want do you want a tire? Yeah. Do you want, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna need to finish you off with a little road that leads along here and along here like that. It's done, yay, let's add decorated jeep yeah you buy one I'm gonna have like four of them or something once it reaches here I'll buy a new one no once it reaches the gate ooh four and a half star zoo nice oh, I can't reach the rhino poop well too bad I know why not silly me gate 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 there we go Okay, let's buy another car. Just like that. Now, I don't know if this is safe for kids and stuff, but well, we'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll be all great. So, the Nocasus has been healed. Apparently, he was sick. Okay, and another car. I think that should be fine. That should be enough cars. Actually, maybe a fourth one. Yeah, we'll, we'll add a fourth one about... Not, not yet, not yet, not yet. We'll add a fourth car. Now. There we go. That's fine. So, yeah, that's great. You're really thirsty, then go drink. Look, the water trough is right there, you silly willy. Okay, or do you need one of the smaller ones because you're a little baby? Ali Dana, he can't drink out of big water pots. I don't care. Over here, let's see. You're doing good? Let's look at our zoom map. And we can see we have added some more stuff. So now we have. Lots of stuff. Look, we have toilets all over the place, so that should be fine now. Um, we've got we've done about half the zoo now, so there's still some stuff to go. Still more stuff to go. We're gonna make this another savanna enclosure here with multiple animals in it, so that'd be great. And then we can move on to different kind of things. But we need to, we obviously need the with the water animals but that's gonna have its own section and yeah so that should be it for this episode I hope it wasn't too long I hope you enjoyed it hope you tune in next time and if you wanna you can name some of the animals like you can call him something like Crocky or something oh, I'm not gonna call him Crocky but yeah leave some suggestions thanks for watching and goodbye